Hey guys, how you doing? This is Cesar Ramirez out in Southern California. Um, today I'm going to talk about the iPhone, my experience uh, really on the situation of how everything went um, from the point I got it to the point of uh, returning it. So, uh, in a nutshell, um, I came from T-Mobile to AT&T. Um, I was still within my 30 day period uh, starting December 23rd and uh, decided to get a Blackberry which is where I got came from, uh, from T-Mobile. Um, the Blackberry is, is a solid phone for business. I, I got to tell you everything you need as far as uh, contacts. Um, you know they actually got uh, op you know Opera, um, which is a mini uh, mini Opera they call it for viewing the uh, the, the full web page. It's, it's excellent. Um, but in a nutshell, um, I wanted to take a stab at the uh, iPhone since I'm still within my 30-day period. So I went back into AT&T. Uh, they said yeah, that's not a problem. Um, again, this is a storefront out here in Southern California of AT&T. So I walked in, uh, turned in my uh, my BlackBerry, and uh, got an iPhone. Now, uh, my experience with an iPhone, um, really quick, uh, it's pretty smooth. I mean, I love the graphics and everything. I I uh, took it home. Um, of course, the I couldn't use my phone until I activate through uh, Apple's back end website, which is kind of uh, strange. Um, but anyway, uh, it feels like little big brothers watching and kind of taking care of uh, your hardware equipment there. Um, so I went ahead and uh, hooked up uh, the, uh, the iTunes um, uh, with, with my iPhone and activated it. Um, I was uh, <coughs> impressed with the way it synced up with my contacts and as far as my, uh, my phone numbers, you know, all the contacts were there and the calendar was there. But uh, a thing I use a lot too is, um, is notes and notes wasn't included um, in the syncing process. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a way to do it, but as a standard feature, uh, when I synced, uh, it should have synced pretty much everything that I used within, uh, within Outlook. So uh, I don't know, maybe there's a way out there you guys could figure that one out. But other than that, um, I went ahead and tried the uh, web experience, and uh, the web experience is pretty cool. I was surprised that it didn't have like Flash built into it. Um, and you know, I guess YouTube uses Flash, but they must have some type of different type of uh, system site in, in place there for, for using YouTube. But in a nutshell, um, not even 30 minutes in, into using the iPhone, um, I was watching, I uh, believe, or listen, actually listen to uh, my iTunes collection. Um, I set the phone down and just kind of listened to the music. And right when I set it down, you know, I, I didn't even drop it or anything. I mean, I just set it down on the uh, on my couch there. Um, I heard a, a strange sound kind of pop and then kind of go away and uh, I lost my speakerphone or, or the sound external speaker so uh, I was like trying to everything I, I think I could think of uh, I did a quick search on Google found out that it's a typical problem um, with a lot of users out there I tried to uh, what they suggested was basically plug in your headphones and unplug, you know, unplug it sometimes the phone thinks it's inside the you know the, uh, the, head, the headset uh, mode so I tried that, had no luck with it. Um, I tried doing a, a full hard reset uh, according to the web you know, page how to do it. That didn't work. Um, so that was just kind of the beginning of the frustration. Um, here's the kicker. I don't know, uh, they didn't tell me this at AT&T, but the next day I, I did the logical thing, which was taking the, the phone back to um, AT&T in the store. Um, as soon as they opened, uh, 9 a.m. that next morning, uh, I took the phone in. It was still within a 24-hour period. Uh, they give you 15 days with AT&T to return the phone um, if you're not happy with it. So this is what they don't tell you, and just can give you guys a word of advice and a warning for those who are thinking about buying the iPhone. There is a 10% restocking fee, um, which I was surprised. So I had a gentleman uh, go talk to his manager, and he came back. And to his surprise, there is a 10% restocking fee, uh, whether you return it or just exchange it for another one. Uh, they did give me the option to go to Apple Store, uh, which was about an hour or two hours away from me, and that wasn't an option for me because, I mean, I I just bought the phone. Um, $400 piece of equipment should be covered within the policy, so that wasn't the case. Um, I asked him, I said, uh, hey, man, I need to speak to your manager. Um, I was pretty frustrated at this point. She came out and gave me the same story. She said that uh, it's their policy, it's an Apple, I, you know, Apple phone. Uh, they can't do anything about it. So, um, fortunately, um, there's a service out there called Prepaid Legal Services. I was covered with a plan. I felt this was a legal situation. 
uh, I asked the manager, said, I need to I need to borrow your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and call my lawyer, take care of this issue. So she let me borrow the phone. Um, I was on hold. I, I demanded for uh, you know um, to speak to a lawyer that's involved in this type of uh, uh, coverage here. And we have over 80 lawyers out there in PPA Legal, which is in uh, Southern California. We use Parker and Stanbury. So um, I called them directly, and uh, she, uh, while she was looking for uh, the lady over there, the representative at PPA Legal, while she was looking for uh, a lawyer, um, she went ahead and you know, gave me my, my case number. So I asked the manager kindly. I said, hey, um, I need a piece of paper. I need to write down this case number. Um, as soon as she gives me a piece of paper, I write down the case number. Uh, I, I can kind of see the corner of my eye. She was freaking out. Because uh, there's some lawyers involved now, so um, not even 30 seconds after that piece of paper was given to me, I heard her say, "You know what? You can hang up the phone now. We're going to go ahead and waive that 10% restocking fee." Now, that's awesome. I inside I was jumping for joy. I was like, "Sweet!" You know, something I paid a dollar 19 a day for um, took care of this, so it definitely you know has paid itself off. So, um, but my question to you is, okay, the average Joe doesn't have a service like this. You go and uh, buy this iPhone and it dies on you. Whether it be me like three hours later, or whether it be you a month later, two months later. And granted, there is no coverage with AT&T. Everything has to go through Apple Eyes and the Apple Store, which I think is completely bogus. It's the first time I ever heard of anything like this with any company. Um, so Apple, AT&T, you guys need to get your, your stuff together here pretty quick because um, there's going to be a lot of frustrated users when their phone starts to break. All right, and I'm, pre I'm pre um, sorry, I'm pretty um, computer savvy, so it's not like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I know how to do my research. I've been involved with computers since 1983. Have my own computer company, AffordableComputerDoctor.com. Been successful in doing that um, since uh, 2006, but been consulting since 1996. So, um, yeah, I, I'm technically savvy. A lot of users out there eventually will be because that's where the world's going. Um, but for me, being a computer savvy. Um, really has nothing to do with the point that customer service at AT&T and, and Apple um, really suck. Um, I haven't really talked to Apple's uh, customer service because I just feel like I have to. If AT&T is going to brand something and slap their name on it, you better sure cover uh, all the, uh, the headaches that come behind it with your customers. So um, That's my story. Um, you guys make sure to uh, be ready if your phone breaks to um, be covered because um, you just never know. Honestly, you never know. So, uh, before the unthinkable happens, make sure you're covered. All right, guys. So good luck, and uh, I don't recommend the iPhone for those guys that uh, want to use it as a business phone because it's definitely not uh, stable. So good luck. I'm sure some of you out there have a good experience, but I didn't. Take care. Bye.